Hello everyone. Today let's learn how to find missing frequency and CF values from the given data. So in this example, we have the class interval column here. This is the frequency column and this is the cumulative frequency or the CF column. Now we have to find these missing frequency and CF values. So let's see how to do that. So friends, the first step is for the time being, just ignore this CF column that they have given here. Let's create our own cumulative frequency column using the frequency values okay so let's create our cf column here now what is cumulative frequency yes it is nothing but added frequency so the cf for the first class interval will always be the frequency of the class interval so here the frequency is 8 so the cf will also be 8 now what about the cf of the next class interval yes it will be the cf of the previous class interval plus the frequency of the present class interval. So here the previous class interval is this. So 8 plus B that will be the CF of this class interval. I hope you got it friends. Now 8 and B you know they are unlike so we really cannot simplify them further. We'll just keep it as it is. So in this way let's continue. Now for the next CF it will be 8 plus B plus 15. See 8 plus B plus 15. Now 8 and 15 they are like so I can add it. I'll get 23 plus b. Let's continue. Here I'll get 23 plus b plus d. Again 23 plus b plus d plus e. Now here I'll get 23 plus 6 which is 29 and then copy all the remaining terms. I think that's it right? Yes. So now we have created our CF column. Now what you need to do is friends just remove this. Let's now compare both these CF columns. Now can I say that both these CF columns are going to be equal? Yes definitely because these columns have been created from the same frequency values so they have to be equal so can we equate the values from both the columns yes definitely we can so let's do that so from the first class interval can we say that a is equal to 8 yes because they are the same CF values of the class interval so straight away we have got the value of the first unknown let's come to the next uh, class interval so we get 22 equal to 8 plus B okay this means I can bring 8 on the other side so I'll get b equal to 22 minus 8 which is 40. So here is my next value. Now let's equate these two c equal to 23 plus b but I just got the value of b right so 23 plus 14 equal to c which means c is yes 37. Now what should we equate next? Yes 56 equal to 23 plus b plus d. Now let's uh, substitute whatever we know. We know B's value. That's right. So that means 56 is 37 plus D. So D is 56 minus 37 is going to be yes 19. So D is 19. Okay. Now what else is remaining? Yes these two. So 64 equals to just be careful while copying down. Now what are the values we already know? B is yes 14. D is 19. E we have to find out friends. Okay. So 64. Now this comes up to 56 plus E. So E is equal to yes. E is equal to 8. That's right. Now the last one is F. F is equal to 29 plus B plus D plus E. But we already know B's value as 14. D is 19 and E also we know. So F, now when you add all these friends, it comes to 70, which is what we want because see the total number of frequencies here is also 70 and the last CF entry will always be the same as the total number of frequencies. So friends, we have got all the unknown values. So I hope you understood how to do this type of question. If you found the video useful, do like it, consider subscribing to our channel and please do leave your questions, your suggestions, your feedback in the comment section. So till we meet again, take care.